When we first got married over 54 years ago now, I was ill prepared for the financial and other responsibilities associated with married life. The first few years of our life together were extremely frugal. We wrestled with the daily challenge of paying our bills and paying for our living expenses. I found myself foolishly sinking into debt. My earnings were meager and I worked tirelessly day and night just to make ends meet. My burning desire was to provide for my little family, but I often felt as though all the cards of life were stacked against me. Little did I realize that there were clear signs pointing toward my future financial well-being. Recurring patterns that I've recognized in myself and in other successful people many times throughout my life. Recognizing these signs and patterns has helped me to connect the dots to financial well-being to help others achieve financial independence throughout the years. So let me share these signs with you in an effort to help you along your way to affluence. Let me know in the comments if you can identify all 11 characteristics in your life right now. Mark Twain once said, the lack of money is the root of all evil. This quote perfectly expresses the notion that while money may be important for meeting basic needs and pursuing goals, true happiness often stems from other aspects of life, such as personal fulfillment, relationships, and meaningful experiences. Will Rogers once said, too many people spend money they haven't earned to buy things they don't want to impress people they don't like. This was never more true than it is today. But we all have problems and some of these problems can be solved with adequate financial resources. We all face two types of problems in life. The first type is all about the basics. Having a roof over your head, clean water, access to health care, and enough food to eat. When you're struggling with these essentials, the fix is pretty clear you really do need more money. Money can take care of the stress and frustration that comes with not having these basic needs met. But once you've got these basics covered, you can shift into the second category, the more high level needs in life. I'm talking about love, happiness, meaning, and fulfillment here. Money can't buy these things directly, but it can, what it can do is give you the freedom and resources to go after what truly makes you happy. So here's the deal. You can be tight on cash and still fund contentment and even find happiness. Or you can be rolling in dough and still struggling to find happiness and joy. But let's be honest, wouldn't you rather have both the prosperity and the happiness? It's been pretty clear to me throughout my life that truly wealthy people have the basics covered as well as the higher level necessities. So understanding this is the first sign that you're on your way to a wealthy life because once you understand it, you can organize your affairs to ensure that you have both priorities covered in your life. Now, imagine your circle of friends as an investment portfolio. Just like your financial choices, your choice of companions can play a pivotal role in shaping your future. Picture this. You're at a dinner party with a mix of acquaintances. On one side of the table, you have Debbie Downer, always lamenting about the gloomy economy and her bad luck. On the other side, you've got visionary Victor, discussing exciting business prospects and personal growth. In the words of motivational speaker Jim Rohn, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. The people you spend the most time with shape who you are. They determine what conversations dominate your attention. They affect which attitudes and behaviors you're regularly exposed to. Eventually, you start to think like they think and behave like they behave. According to research by social psychologist Dr. David McClellan of Harvard, the people you habitually associate with determine as much as 95% of your success or failure in your life. So think about how these people affect your mindset. 
Debbie's pessimism might start to seep into your thoughts, making you more apprehensive about your own financial journey. Meanwhile, Victor's enthusiasm and ambition can ignite your own aspirations. It's not just a hypothetical scenario either. Consider the real life example of Warren Buffett, one of the world's most successful investors. He attributes much of his success to his longtime friend and business partner, Charlie Munger. Their partnership not only led to financial prosperity, but also to an unwavering focus on rationality and sound decision making. Between them, by the way, they're worth north of $116 billion, so I think they should know. So surround yourself with individuals who radiate positivity and ambition, as they can serve as a catalyst for your own success. After all, your inner circle can be your most valuable asset on your path to wealth. The most important tool at our disposal for living a better life is other people. The people we surround ourselves with are the biggest influence on our behavior, attitudes, and results. Who you are around, what they've got you thinking about, saying, doing, and becoming, sets the course of your entire life. Now let's talk about the third sign that could be pointing you toward future wealth. This is all about your ability to tackle challenges head on. Successful people have the capacity to see opportunities where others see roadblocks. With the boom in online industries now, it could be a prime time for you to dip your toes into starting a side business. You might want to check out my new book, The 101 Best Side Hustles, to help you get started. You can find it easily on Amazon.com. Imagine having a groundbreaking new business idea one that could potentially rake in millions of dollars, but here's the kicker. Its true value hinges on your willingness to take action, no matter how daunting the obstacles may seem. Because let's be honest, how much is your idea really worth if it just stays locked up inside your brain? Unfortunately, many if not most people begin with a burst of enthusiasm, only to toss their dreams aside later, citing a laundry list of excuses. When they hit a rough patch, they blame it on bad luck and call it quits. But the wealthy? They might scratch their heads for a bit, but they don't throw in the towel. They strike when the iron's hot, when their passion and motivation are firing on all eight cylinders. Here's the thing. The longer you let your brilliant idea marinate in your mind, the more time doubt has to creep in and erode your confidence. But if you've got the guts to dive in, surround yourself with people who can help you and face problems as they come and keep pushing forward, guess what? You're on the fast track to wealth. Take Elon Musk, for example. When he decided to launch SpaceX, he wasn't just taking an astronomical challenge, no pun intended. He was venturing into uncharted territory. He faced countless setbacks, including failed rocket launches and near bankruptcy. But did he give up? No. He persevered. And today, SpaceX is a major player in the space industry, with contracts from NASA and plans for missions to Mars. That's the kind of tenacity that sets the wealthy apart from the rest. So don't just dream big, act big. Your path to wealth might be paved with obstacles, but it's also lined with opportunities. Now, before you swipe that credit card or make a purchase, do you ever stop and ask yourself if it's going to boost your financial well-being or drain your resources? It's a crucial question that sets the stage for building real wealth. I think we can think of life as kind of a seesaw. On one side, you've got all those temptations, like flashy luxury cars and designer clothing, and stuff that screams, look at me. But on the other side of the seesaw, you've got the real game changers, investments in rental properties, stocks, and real estate. These are the assets that can work 
for you over the long haul. And these assets typically appreciate instead of depreciating. Now here's where it gets really interesting. Economic downturns, those moments when things are tough for everyone else, can actually become a golden opportunity for you. That's when you can start stacking up those long-term assets that form the bedrock of your financial future security. It's like building a fortress for your money. Sure, amassing that initial 100,000 can feel like scaling a mountain, but remember this, true lasting wealth comes when your money starts doing some heavy lifting on your behalf. It's about letting your money work for you, not the other way around. Think about that. Investing can sound intimidating, I know, but there are options out there that can make it less scary. Take money market funds, for instance. They offer better interest rates than your typical savings accounts, and they're not as wild as the stock market. These funds typically put your money into short-term, high-quality debts from governments, banks, and big corporations, and they almost always outpace the rate of interest that inflation is killing you with today. So remember, it's not just about what you spend your money on, but also how you put your money to work for you. Building assets that grow over time is a game changer in your journey to financial success. Now let's explore the fifth sign on your path to financial success, the hunger for knowledge. You see, formal education is just the beginning of your learning journey. Many folks squander their free time on activities like video games and binge watching Netflix. Assuming that learning ends with graduation, this misconception often leads them to attribute wealth to sheer luck. In reality, it's quite the opposite. The more you delve into learning, the more you realize the vast expanse of what you do not yet know. Think of it as continuously upgrading your life toolkit, like you're doing now by watching this video. Consider the story of Warren Buffett that I mentioned earlier. The renowned investor often dubbed the Oracle of Omaha. He did not amass his wealth through luck alone. It was his insatiable appetite for knowledge that played a pivotal role. Buffett is an avid reader who spends a substantial part of his day devouring books and financial reports. His commitment to learning has been a cornerstone of his financial success. And he once famously said, the more you learn, the more you earn. So don't let your quest for knowledge stagnate after your formal education. Be the person who constantly seeks to expand their horizon through reading, online courses, and acquiring new skills like you are in this video. Remember, luck isn't just about a roll of the dice. It's at the intersection of opportunity and preparation. Arm yourself with knowledge and you'll find yourself on the fortunate path to success. In your quest for success and financial prosperity, one of the telltale signs of those who flourish is their ability to resist the urge to measure themselves against other people. This tendency to make comparisons can often lead to hasty decisions fueled by envy or an insatiable desire to match the achievements of those around us. It's crucial to bear in mind that every individual's journey is distinct. No two paths are identical. And when we constantly compare ourselves, especially to those with more experience or expertise, we risk fostering feelings of inadequacy, which can ultimately stifle our own progress. Consider the world of technology and entrepreneurship as an example. Imagine aspiring to be the next Steve Jobs, the iconic co-founder of Apple. While his genius and success are undeniable, trying to replicate his precise path to triumph may seem overwhelming. However, this should never discourage you from pursuing your own entrepreneurial dreams. Each and every one of us possesses a unique set of skills, strengths, aptitudes, and visions. 
Rather than attempting to mimic the exact route taken by a tech giant like Steve Jobs, it's much more beneficial to concentrate on nurturing your own creativity, honing your distinctive talents, and forging your path to success. So the next time you find yourself caught in the trap of comparing your progress to someone else's, remember that you're on a singular personal journey. Embrace your individuality, leverage your distinct capabilities, and persistently work toward your vision of accomplishment and success. Now, in the journey toward future wealth, there's a crucial sign that sets successful individuals apart, and that's an unwavering self-confidence. While some people might downplay their achievements and skills, fearing that they'll come across as arrogant, this self-effacement can inadvertently diminish how others perceive their worth and abilities. Richard Branson, the founder of Virgin Group, is a remarkable illustration of how self-confidence can lead to extraordinary financial accomplishments. From the outset, Branson displayed an audacious belief in his ideas and an unyielding self-confidence that set him apart from all others. Starting with a small mail-order record business, Branson expanded his ventures to include a record label and then Virgin Atlantic Airways. His self-assurance was evident when he took on established giants in the music and airline industries. Against all odds, he built a global brand known for its innovation and customer-centric approach. Branson's confidence was not limited to these ventures. It extended to numerous industries, including telecommunications, space travel, and renewable energy. His bold moves, such as launching Virgin Galactic, a space tourism company, which my friend just used to take a trip to outer space, showcased his unwavering belief in his ability to pioneer new frontiers and create wealth in the process. In Branson's case, self-confidence was the driving force behind his ability to attract investors, partners, and customers. It allowed him to embrace calculated risks and invest in ventures that others deemed far too ambitious. His remarkable success serves as a testament to how self-confidence can be a catalyst for achieving financial prosperity and pushing the boundaries of innovation. In the realm of high-paying professions or entrepreneurial ventures, confidence becomes a linchpin. It inspires trust in clients, propels team members to follow your lead, and fuels your ability to make strategic investments. I learned this when I started Action Plus Software years ago. I needed to have confidence in order for my employees to have confidence. Instead of succumbing to the big temptation of immediate gratification, a confident person focuses on investing wisely for the future. Whether it's venturing into the stock market or embarking on side businesses, the confident individual believes in their capacity to generate more wealth and actively seeks opportunities to grow their assets. In essence, self-confidence is not about flaunting your wealth or status. It's the driving force that propels you toward financial prosperity and ultimately a secure and fulfilling future. Now, the eighth indicator of future financial success is the significance of personal integrity. Integrity plays a pivotal role in building trust, fostering strong relationships, and ultimately contributing to one's financial prosperity. It involves consistently adhering to ethical principles, being honest in all your dealings, and maintaining transparency in both personal and professional endeavors. Take Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple, for it as an exemplary illustration of the significance of integrity in the business world. Cook succeeded the iconic Steve Jobs and faced the daunting task 
of leading one of the world's most renowned technology companies. Throughout his tenure, Cook has been widely recognized for his unwavering commitment to ethical leadership. Under his stewardship, Apple has championed sustainability efforts, emphasized privacy protection, and embraced diversity and inclusion initiatives. His commitment to ethical business practices has not only resonated with consumers, but has also helped Apple to maintain its reputation as a trustworthy and socially responsible company in the industry. Cook's emphasis on integrity extends to his interactions with Apple's employees, partners, and investors. His open communication style and dedication to maintaining the highest ethical standards have not only enhanced the company's brand, but have also contributed to its financial success. In the realm of financial success, integrity is more than just a moral compass. It is a strategic asset. It enables individuals and organizations to build enduring relationships, secure investments, and navigate complex business relationships and landscapes with credibility and trustworthiness. As such, cultivating and upholding integrity is a crucial indicator for your future financial success as well. Another often overlooked but incredibly potent sign of future financial success is a genuine commitment to helping and serving others. It's not just about accumulating personal wealth for oneself, but also about using your wealth and influence to make a positive impact on the lives of others and the world around you. Patrice Mutsepi, a South African mining magnate and billionaire, embodies this indicator brilliantly. While he has amassed substantial wealth, his commitment to serving others and promoting social change is awe-inspiring. Mozepi founded the Mozepi Foundation, a philanthropic organization that focuses on various causes, including education, health, and job creation. His dedication to addressing social issues and uplifting disadvantaged communities has earned him respect and admiration around the world. Mozepi has pledged to give away half of his fortune to charitable causes after his passing. By actively investing in the betterment of society, individuals like Patrice Mozepi exemplify how a genuine commitment to helping and serving others can be a powerful indicator of future financial success. It underscores the idea that true wealth is not just measured by one's financial portfolio, but by the positive impact one makes in the lives of others. The tenth indicator of future wealth underscores the significance of maintaining a balance between our physical and emotional health while effectively balancing the personal and business aspects of our lives. Striking this tricky equilibrium is pivotal for long-term prosperity. As a healthy and balanced individual is far better equipped to make informed decisions and seize opportunities when they present themselves. A shining example of someone who epitomizes this balance is Sarah Blakely, the founder of Spanx, a billion-dollar hosiery and undergarment company. Sarah recognized early on that her well-being was instrumental to her success. She cultivated daily practices like exercise and meditation to maintain her physical health and emotional well-being. This allowed her to navigate the challenges of entrepreneurship with resilience and creativity. By nurturing both her personal life and her business endeavors, Sarah managed to create a thriving company while still prioritizing her family life. Her ability to achieve this harmonious blend exemplifies how taking care of physical and emotional health and maintaining a balanced life can contribute significantly to future wealth. It serves as a reminder that wealth encompasses not only financial riches, 
but also personal contentment and overall well-being. Now, the final and 11th indicator of future wealth is having a budget and understanding precisely where every dollar is allocated and consistently living within your means. This financial discipline plays a pivotal role in achieving long-term financial stability and prosperity. One remarkable example that illustrates the significance of budgeting and living within one's means is Chris Saka. Saka's financial success is a testament to these principles. As an early investor in companies like Twitter, Instagram, and Uber, Saka accumulated substantial wealth. However, what sets him apart is his dedication to managing his finances personally and responsibly. Despite his financial success, Saka continued to live a frugal lifestyle, adhering to a strict budget. He recognized the importance of understanding where every dollar was going, ensuring that his spending aligned with his financial goals. By doing so, he safeguarded his wealth and maintained financial discipline. Saka's story underscores that regardless of one's income level, budgeting and living within one's means are fundamental practices for achieving and preserving financial success. It's a valuable lesson that highlights how mindful financial management can contribute to long-term wealth and financial security. Remember, embracing and embodying these 11 indicators of impending wealth can offer valuable perspectives on our prospects for financial success. While each person's circumstances and journeys are unique, comprehending the significance of financial stability, surrounding ourselves with high quality people, the knack for conquering challenges, the priority of amassing appreciating assets, the commitment to lifelong learning, the avoidance of unwarranted comparisons, the cultivation of meaningful relationships, nurturing self-confidence, integrity, serving others, and managing our financial resources through smart budgeting can all serve as guiding principles along our path to affluence and wealth. It's vital to recognize that wealth isn't merely a product of chance, but a result of conscious decisions and a constructive mindset. If you're eager to enhance your financial well-being, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more valuable insights and tips. All right? Thanks again for joining us today on this video, and we'll catch you in the next one.